Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your tarot readings uh, and your spirit's message, Taurus, we're going to be pulling out some shells. Let's see what uh, what's coming towards you for this month of July. Spirits, what are the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? In regards to the month of July 2020. All right, let's see. All right, Taurus, communication is going to be very important for you for this month of July. What they're saying, um, I feel you guys being very reserved or being very careful about the way you ex you speak. It's almost the feeling of like walking on eggshells. This could be because uh, you are feeling a bit restrictive. Now, you do have um, this need to be freed or express yourself um, without feeling like you're going to hurt other people's feelings or their emotions. Um, I think that you could you have a tendency of being very methodical in that sense. You try to be at least, you know, you try to be thoughtful. And what they're telling you is that sometimes it's necessary for us to speak our truth and sometimes be a bit rash when it comes to communicating, because that's the only way we're able to get our message across or uh, be able to express ourselves not in a passive way. So what they're saying is that communication is going to be very important, especially for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship. I think that, um, it, like I said, it's almost a feeling like of walk, like I'm walking on eggshells. I have to be careful of what I say because I don't want to upset them or I don't want to be the cause of arguments. Um, but then if you take that route, what you're doing is you're suppressing what you're feeling and they're not acknowledging that. So again, whether it's because you are unhappy because they don't really give you attention, they're not really thoughtful, they're not romantic, or they're not really putting effort and spending time with you, this is something that cannot be swept under the rug. Especially, keep in mind, you guys, we are going uh, we are going to be going through a lunar eclipse, and we just recently went through a solar eclipse. So, when we experience these major uh, these major changes that not only affect us on every day, but these are major changes that are going to be playing out for the rest of the year, you have to keep that in mind. Now, we do have Saturn. Jupiter, we have the moon, we have Pluto, um, and like I said, Saturn in Capricorn, in the sign of Capricorn, so there's a lot of transmutation, there's a lot of what's not working out uh, is coming to surface, so again, the more you try to suppress this, the more you're going to get to the point of almost exploding over something so simplistic like, you know, them cornering you to the bed, and you just, you, it just sets you off. You know what I mean? So, again, try the best you can to communicate instead of holding back. Now, I also do see changes for you guys in regards to your finances. So, for some of you guys, what they're saying is that you are on this journey or on this path of um, greater wisdom or more knowledge. This could be going back to college. This could be taking courses. This could be even your company offering you to go and take some classes that are going to make you more of an asset to the company. And what they're saying is make the best of it. Um, try not to procrastinate so much, Taurus. This is very important, especially for this, uh, the, not only July, but for the coming months, it's going to be very important. For those of you guys that are set out to, um, that are set out to, uh, to create a new path or a new journey, um, or even those of you guys that are planning to uh, do some type of major change, whether it's uh, buying a new car, whether it's buying or purchasing your first home, or even moving, what they're saying is procrastination is something you need to let go of. You need to work on really putting or get the ball rolling, basically. Um, now, I do see, like I said, I do see major changes for you guys. For some of you guys, I do see you guys changing residency. Uh, for others of you, this could speak about uh, a new beginning, not only a new beginning in the physical, 
uh, but also on a grander scale, like being a father figure or a mother figure. For those of you guys that are single um, and have been dealing with someone that perhaps has children, um, this is something that you need to think about. Do you really want, are you okay, I should say, are you okay with taking on a relationship that is not only going to be that of dealing with the person, but also are you okay with having a child or having someone look up to you? And if the answer is yes, then what they're telling you is you got to take notice of that now. Why? Because I do see this going full full term. I do see them progressing or moving this relationship uh, to more structured, much more uh, committed relationship. Now, for those of you guys that are completely single and are currently not dealing with anyone, I do see that Saturn is going to be, um, Saturn and Capricorn with Jupiter is also going to be affecting or bringing towards you uh, partnerships, people that are more ideal to what you're looking for, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. Um, it is important to note not to be led with the physical or the superficial, uh, but be more conscious about the people that you're choosing meaning if you have a pattern of going after a specific type of person now is the time to keep your basically keep your horizons open um and be more open-minded to those that are very different why because those are usually the ones that are going to be able to feed your soul and help you grow okay all right my lovelies let's get into your readings Spirits, what are the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2020? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2020. Spirits, what are the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Now you do have the five of wands, the page of wands, the ten of swords, ten of wands. Okay, a lot of endings for you guys. A lot of very old energy just being pulled out. Uh, whether this is you walking away from what no longer serves you, Taurus, or whether it's the universe shaking things up for you, letting you see clearly and concisely the path that you're on right now. Now, right at the center, I do have the four of pentacles with the two of wands. So what they're saying is for those of you guys that are looking for love, now is the time to open yourself up. Open yourself up to the opportunities or to the possibilities. Don't be very stuck in the mud, Taurus. Uh, don't expect someone to come knocking on your door. You got to put yourself out there in a safe way, of course, because we know what's going on right now. But uh, what they're saying is you got to get out of your comfort zone. You also do have the page of wands going towards the four of wands. So I do see that there was a situation where perhaps there was some type of pulling away. Someone perhaps walked away from you, Taurus, perhaps um, creating distance or making distance, um, no longer communicating with that person. But I do see that this person has greatly impacted you. Either uh, they reassured you exactly what you don't want in a relationship, or uh, they made you crave a specific need that perhaps you weren't aware of, but now you are. It's almost like you're opening up your eyes. It's like having an epiphany or understanding and knowing your value, your self-worth, and knowing that you deserve to be treated much better. You do uh, have the Eight of Cups here walking away, being able to internalize or being able to see the bigger picture. It's almost like you guys are going to be experiencing for the month of July the desire, the need to formulate a type of lifestyle that is going to impact the coming years for you. I see you guys really like planning or trying to be methodical about where you're at right now and where you want to be. Now, you do have the full card with the seven of pentacles. What they're saying here is learn from your experiences and don't keep going to the past tours. Don't keep going um, or allowing people from your past coming back around. The four of swords signifies it's time to really 
go within yourself allow this healing allow this healing energy this is beautiful energy really because you have two tents here endings uh with the lunar eclipse it does bring a lot of endings a lot of conclusions remember we have planets in retrograde right now so don't be surprised if people are coming back trying to reach out people from the past friends lovers what they're telling you here is take those experiences um take those experiences and allow them to make you a wiser person uh, don't be very spontaneous in the sense of jumping from uh, basically not communicating with someone to communicating on everyday basis that you start to get your hopes up because inevitably they're going to be walking out again. So again, uh, anyone coming from your past, I don't see it lasting. I don't see it being something that is going to be much more long lasting. I see it more temporarily and it could be, like I said, because of the retro guides. So keep that in mind. Stop allowing people to basically walk all over you, Taurus. Stop allowing them to have power or control over you that whenever they feel like it, they can, they could, or they feel like they can come back around and just enter your life again because you're going to embrace them. Okay, let's see what your final messages are here. Okay. All right. So you have communication is key. New moon in Gemini. We go back to that of communication. I think communication is something that the shells uh, definitely came up, <laughs> definitely came across. It's very important to speak your truth, Taurus. Even if we're specifically, I should say, specifically, we're dealing with people from the past, and there was things left unsaid or left undone, um, and all of a sudden they're coming back around. Speak your truth. Be honest, even if it means, or even if that person is going to perceive you as, you know, harsh or even if you come across as bitchy, it's okay. If they were the ones that did you wrong and they walked away, you have the right to speak your truth. Now is the time to actually speak up. Now is the time to pretty much, pretty much put it out, you know, put it out in the open exactly what you've been carrying so that you can be able to move forward without feeling like there is anything left undone or unsaid. Your next card here is Cardinal Moon. Be bold and make first move. We go back to that of, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, stop hoping or thinking that you're waiting on someone to make a move or you're waiting for the right person to come into your life. Now is the time to basically grab the bull by its horns um, and be daring in that sense. Be daring because only getting out of your comfort zone are you going to be able to experience different results than what you've been experiencing up until now. Okay, Taurus? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we will see each other soon. Happy Lunar Eclipse!